uh, my name is Kurt Ronse. I'm the director of the uh, lithography department uh, at IMEC in Leuven, in Belgium. IMEC is an uh, independent research organization that is focusing in the area of ICT. And uh, one of the big programs of IMEC is actually looking at the uh, scaling of integrated circuits towards the next uh, technology nodes. So the way that we do that in, in IMEC is we are partnering with IC manufacturers but also with advanced uh, equipment suppliers and material suppliers and together in big teams we are looking at the challenges to bring the technologies to the next uh, nodes and then with the expertise from the equipment suppliers, material suppliers and the needs from the IC manufacturers we are together trying to come to solutions for the next generations. One of the uh, big achievements in our advanced lithography program over the past year has been the implementation of directed self-assembly in our advanced 300 mm uh, pilot line. Uh, directed self-assembly is actually a technique that has been investigated since many years, but typically at universities on, on lab scales. And about two years ago it, it caught the attention from the semiconductor industry who was seeing a potential new patterning technique in directed self-assembly to push the limits to smaller resolutions. So um, what we have been setting up together with some of our partners is uh, the implementation of uh, a FAP or a lab-based uh, DSA process in a real 300 millimeter semiconductor uh, FAP. So we got help there from, for example, uh, AZ to first of all purify the sample materials and scale them up in gallon quantities. Then together with Tokyo Electron we basically were able to uh, plug these materials, these purified materials into a uh, standalone uh, little track and op module improvements have been and are being implemented by Tokyo Electron. And in that way we have been able to demonstrate now the self-assembly process so we are resolving typically like 12 and a half nanometer lines and spaces with directed self-assembly. So and our objective now for the coming year with that is to uh, look whether directed self-assembly can be like the next generation patterning technique uh, implemented in semiconductor uh, technology. And the big question mark is can we come to defect levels that are required for semiconductor manufacturing. The DSA basically caught uh, the attention of the uh, people coming to advanced lithography here like two years ago and since then it has been expanding, it has been growing, but I think at EMEC we are the first now who have really implemented a full DSA process in a semiconductor uh, line, so we are with all the advanced equipment now well placed to investigate these defectivity uh, problems. It is already online and we have actually have a few papers here at Advanced Lithography where we are showing the results. Uh, now of course there's still a long way to go now to investigate uh, defect uh, densities, to investigate uh, um, yeah, how well we can train basically these polymers to direct themselves in the right directions as the designers are laying out the circuits and how to implement it into the full and integrate it into the full CMOS processes. We are implementing the SA in 193 and there we can look at frequency multiplication for example which could be a simpler way of getting that multipl multiplication through self-aligned double patterning or spacer defined patterning as what the industry is, is doing now and then in combination with EUV it could actually enable EUV to some extent because one of the issues in EUV that we have for example is the, the local CD variation on contact hole levels. Now there are ideas to implement directed self-assembly to make these contact holes uniform again. So it's not really DSA or EUV or DSA or 193, basically the two together can come out stronger and it can enable 193 and EUV to go to the next technology node. There's a lot of very innovative ideas on how to use DSA in a semiconductor process. So uh, we are going to try to follow a number of routes uh, and try to demonstrate that it can really be, be working. In the next 12 months I think the main question that needs to be answered is this defect density 
this pattern fidelity, can we achieve that with yeah. DSA? But then implementing it to real applications, there is plenty of ideas that we can all explore. I'm pretty sure next year we will have again a number of papers on directed self-assembly. There is so much momentum in this area ongoing right now, uh, definitely.